Hello there, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And today we are actually going to be doing, well, unknown things, to be honest. Uh, so what we're actually going to be doing is, first of all, we're going to be calling our freighter. Yes, the Star Birth mission is... Uh, if you've watched the last episode, well, you'll understand. But it is still active for some reason. It still tells me to go to a marked uh, system, which doesn't exist. Uh, it doesn't even tell me that it's in another galaxy. It just tells me that I need to go to the Mark system. Now, this was the Mark system in Euclid, and we are in Euclid, by the way. We are still in Euclid. We're not going to be for very long there. Uh, now, the reason I'm going on board the vessel, on board our freighter... Uh, by the way, the mods. So, something uh, very important, as you can see, this is where the mission is. It's not telling me anything anymore. Uh, now, the uh, something about the mods something very important. Uh, so the mods are currently in beta. They're still in beta. They key, uh, Red Mask keeps updating them, so do keep checking often as to uh, uh, what exactly the updates are, especially when it's still in beta. The mods are not everything's fully there. As you can see, the camera's actually back now. Uh, we have some more features back, but it's still in beta. Uh, so you need to uh, like either wait around a little bit until you play the mod, or uh, just, you know, uh, just keep updating to the uh, beta, the next beta, the next beta, the next beta, while, while they're coming out. Uh, he's really pushing forward uh, all the betas, so th there's that. Now, the reason I'm in this ship is because last time, uh, in the last episode of actually, for those of you that haven't watched it, I do, okay, I do need to evade fights, though, as much as possible, because this ship is uh, weak, and this is permadeath, so I need to be very careful, very, very careful. Now, they have found valuable valuable cargo, but that's not really going to be for too long. You know what? Let's, let me just call in the next... Oh, that's the valuable thing on my ship. Oh, there's only two of them. Oh, they are doing a lot of damage. Okay. This thing is not very maneuverable because it has no upgrades whatsoever. Oh. That's great. But, my frigate has actually sent out... Sent out a... Oh my god, that's not doing any damage whatsoever. Neither is that. Oh. Yeah, fighting with this thing is... Oh, by the way, the cabin inside is beautiful. You know what? This is going to be our first fight in the living shop. Why not? And probably our only one. Because I'm going to be avoiding all other fights. Like, that's something that I can guarantee you. That's actually, that's actually a nice looking ship. I really don't want to destroy it. Now, you can't really upgrade a living ship. Uh, the only way to upgrade it is via an event. And you get that event randomly while flying through uh, space. So that's something we're going to try and trigger this episode. Sorry, that, that was a misclick. That's something we're going to try and uh, trigger uh, this episode. It does look nice, though. It really does. Spewing vents and grafted eyes. Yeah, those are the... Uh, those are the things, the guns. So our vessel is very slow uh, because it's not upgraded. It has uh, where is the Nexus? You know what? Wherever it is, it's in front of me now. Uh, it is very slow, but uh, it is very defenseless as well. Like the only thing we have is just like basic shields, no upgrades. As you can see, the organ chamber is empty as well. And uh, sadly, a uh, spoiler alert. But for those of you that actually haven't watched the last episode, this is going to be a spoiler. So. I couldn't grow my own ship because the mission is bugged, uh, which is something that I am very disappointed in. I really wanted to grow my own ship. This is a ship that we actually bought the first time I saw the living ships. So it is blue uh, on the um, um, No Man's Sky uh, Fantasy mod Discord. They haven't actually posted pictures where there are red ones, there's like slightly darker ones, and they all look really beautiful. I probably got the most generic variant, which is blue. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like the most common one I've seen. It is entirely possible that it is because of the uh, metal spaceships. Now, uh, I do have that mod installed. I'm probably going to remove it next time and uh, see exactly what happens. So where we want to be is actually in the HQ. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. It has crashed before. Not while going to the HQ, but it has crashed before. Again, last episode. Uh, kind of interesting, you know, for those of you wondering. I'm promoting myself, okay? I'm not promoting somebody else. It's like I'm paying myself to promote myself. Hmm. How does that work? 
Anyway, uh, weird thoughts aside, uh, the reason I'm going to be ba going back into Sentium is because, you know what, let's explore Sentium a little bit. Why not? And while doing that, hopefully we're going to randomly stumble upon uh, alien events, because now they exist in the game, apparently. Uh, now, in terms of uh, if there have been any updates from Hello Games, I haven't actually read again. I probably should have, but I've been busy editing the last episode. And uh, honestly, it uh, has the mission has a little bit uh, annoyed me. Also, the neural assembly is the launch thrusters, okay. Now, the reason I wanted to come here is as well I wanted to look at the map. Maybe the position... No, it's not here. Of course it's not here. Now, I need to get rid of the map. No, it doesn't even tell me that it's another galaxy. It just says, follow the call of the void. And that is it. Build an Indium drive. I have an Indium drive. Go away. It's probably for a different ship, but whatever. So actually, uh, No Man's Sky, uh, the uh, living ship update, does change some terrain generation. I've heard rumors. Ah, out of jump range. Oh, this thing cannot jump. Or if it can, it can only jump, yeah, 143. You know what? It's That system's fine, though, for jumping, I believe. Oh, and it has new scanners whatsoever, nothing. You know what? The system's fine for jumping. I should have probably jumped to wherever I wanted to go and then picked the ship. Oh well. Oh my god, I'm sorry if you hear weird noises. My eye started itching and now I'm... Um, I can't see with it. Okay, it's a little bit better now. Undiscovered. Okay. Aggressive sentence. I don't really want to go there. Like, I want to go somewhere, but where that somewhere is, is beyond me. Maybe over there on that planet. If I can scan it somehow. Oh, come on. Maneuvering is really difficult on this vessel. Like, really difficult. It's just, I'm not used to not having, like, three S-Class pulse engines installed. That... I wonder if this ship can actually go underwater. I doubt it. I doubt it. Would have been all over Reddit if it did. Rotting planet. You know what? That's fine. Does this planet have water? I think it does. If it does, I will try, but mm, I doubt that it can. Yeah, it does have water. Come on. Let's, uh... Land. Oh, that... Is that... Yeah, that is water. Those are giant living perver clams. No, it cannot go underwater. I guess this is shallow water. No, it cannot go underwater. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, yeah, let's destroy everything on the, on the world while we're at it. The clams are huge. They could feed an entire civilization. The water is very clear, though. That's really nice. You can actually see... Oh, I mean, the clams you could probably see from space, they're that big, but, uh, you know, that is sulfurite, or whatever it was called. Uh, I saw one of those. Oh, there they are. That thing. That has the, uh, terror in it, horror, whatever. So why did I come here? Uh, well, terrain generation has apparently changed, um, uh, in the new update. Not entirely sure how, but the reason I knew it is because, you know, we were warned that our bases, uh, that our planets could look different and our bases might be a little bit uh, off. Now, of course, the mod does change the terrain generation, so we might actually have nothing changed for modded. Or at the very least, only slightly changed. Am I going to land here? Why? There's no point in landing here. Let's go. I do like that there's like a little bit of a puddle here in the middle of the island. That's I think that's a nice touch. That's something that we have... Uh, have we? I don't think I have seen that. I honestly don't remember, but that is a nice touch. That is something I would like to see more of. Alright, you know what? Let's actually go fly around space a little bit. So I know today is going to be a little bit more, you know, flying around here, going there. Uh, but the whole point is to actually trigger these alien events today. And the reason I can't do an edited episode is because I really don't have to time to actually record and 
edit the episode because uh, by the way the uh, yesterday's episode yeah, I started recording it on Friday yeah it was Friday uh, and the last recording was on Sunday oh there it is nearby object of interest slow down uh, let's see oh that's a traitor okay so uh, uh, this is something uh, that used to be in the mod, but the game has actually implemented. There's a Corvax Convergence Cube. I don't really need them, but Ephesium, definitely. Um, so this was in the mod, and this is something that Hello Games have actually implemented into No Man's Sky, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, just pointing that out there. Uh, lifeless Planet. Sure, you know what? Let's explore. Maybe the Lifeless Planet actually feels... Another trader just randomly appeared. Uh, okay. I thought it was gonna be something interesting, but apparently not. It It's not the same one. So it is a different one. Corvax casings. Cool, cool, cool. Where am I getting... Like, And they immediately, like, zip past me at light speeds? Okay, now let's check out the lifeless planet. Then we're gonna go, uh... uh just zip around here for a little bit. Maybe find an alien thing. Maybe. It is a little bit slow. That's fine. Ah, okay, so uh, this is not a lifeless world. <laughs> I see a lot of life in it. But you know what? Let's land here. Oh yeah, and no technology can be installed in this thing because we don't have anything to install. Ah, oh, I should have checked the Nexus, actually. Go, go away, planet. Planet information, go away. I do need the condensed carbon though. I'm very low in condensed carbon. Jetpack's back, by the way. The low atmosphere planet. Oh, that is a lot of green stuff. It's probably gonna tank the frames. What's with the green stuff around my go away? So let me actually quickly refill. Well, I wasn't really gonna refill that, but whatever. Uh, so this is actually what I wanted to refill, and I will refill it with normal carbon because I actually have enough normal carbon. But I don't have uh, uh, enough condensed carbon. What is that? I'm just looking for anything new to be honest. That looks very shiny. Ooh, more condensed carbon. Well, honestly, this rock does not seem as barren, so. I mean, I've, I've only explored this area here, but. Can I fly up to the atmosphere? Probably gonna die and regret it, but. <laughs> Can I go into space? Uh, don't I start suffering damage there? Hmm. This is very stupid, by the way. Don't do this at home. Especially not on permadeath. Okay, well, at least I see where the green stuff is. Hey, I would see my house from here if I had a house in this world. I think it's very dark. Okay, I don't know where we are at this point. Uh, by the way, falling down might be lethal to us as well. <laughs> Just saying, you know, falling from the site, it might kill us. Have I still not entered space? How far into the planet am I? It doesn't... It, we don't have a height axis. Okay, yeah, I'm very high. I'm definitely into the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Have I never done... I'm pretty sure I've never done this. This is going to be interesting. I might have to alt an F4. <laughs> just so I don't lose my uh, permadeath. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're way, way far. Okay. Can we go to the space station? I, that'd be funny. Oh, wait. There's no space... Oh, yeah, there is. This is not the lifeless uh, system. And I can actually recover jetpack on the way down. But I'm gonna be out of jetpack before I reach the stars. Aww, we're not really gonna reach the stars. 
Oh well. Okay, well, time to plummet. I was gonna say slowly, but... Not really, no. Hello. Can I wave? Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> uh, torch does work. I don't know where the ground is, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, okay, now I can see the ground. Finally. Well, this just took like five minutes to do and like ten minutes of falling, apparently. We're still falling. You would probably die from a heart attack before you actually uh, died from uh, hitting the ground. And I need to be careful when I start using the jetpack because we have a very small amount of fuel. Actually, I'm not even sure if you can take fall damage here, but I don't want to test that out, okay? I'm, that's something I'm not testing out. But yeah, we need, like, to go a little bit higher. Like, maybe build something that just takes us up a little bit higher. Or from a decently sized mountain, and then start spamming the jetpack. I think we might do that next episode. <laughs> like, I might start the episode waving while I'm falling. <laughs> hmm, ideas. Anyway, uh, let's see. We haven't gotten anything yet, but that looks like an interesting place to be. So you know what, let's start heading towards that planet. Yeah, today's just gonna be a goofing around episode. I've, uh, last episode was, uh... <sighs> I don't wanna even think about it. Again, really? You know what? Go away. And after that world, I just want them to lose me. And then I'm gonna go uh, bounce off the atmosphere. Uh, after the next planet we visit, I will actually go to the Nexus and see if there is something to buy in terms of upgrades. I doubt it. Uh, it was specifically said that that's not the way you upgrade the ship, that's not the way you get stuff, so... Uh, yeah, it's probably nothing there, to be honest. And I haven't renamed the ship yet because, A, I have... Actually, I haven't figured out a decent name, and B, this is not going to be the living ship that I'm using normally. I want to actually incubate the egg and get a proper living ship. But yeah, we found this one, sure, whatever, you know. It's fine, it's a living ship, but I want to grow it. It has to be, like, a part of the family. Yes. And that is why. Oh no, it's... Uh, you, we, we're going to bond while it is growing. You know, just saying, while it is maturing. We will look at it from a little baby egg, which we are, uh, to a teenager, which hopefully will be fine. And then, you know, it's going to be this big. Someday. So where do I want to land? Do I even want to land? This seems like very rocky to me. Definitely the terrain generation has changed. Not entirely sure though. Could be wrong because, uh, again, I've been playing modded for so long that uh, just unmodded now is unconceivable to me even. Mm -hmm. Yes, especially certain things. So, yeah. Okay, trees. I can shoot trees even though they take zero damage for some reason. But that's fine, okay. You know what, let's go to the nexus. I'm going to fly out for 30 seconds and I'm going to call it uh, the Nexus. If I can even pulse jump, that is. There it is, we can. So while that's happening, I actually want to see what it takes to refill these. So more diet or oxygen, and I have enough oxygen. Okay, so 100 oxygen refilled it to like 10% and 98 refilled it to 100. That's interesting. This is... no idea what this... Oh, this is the pulse drive. So silver and gold, that's easy. Uh, this is... Charge up your Singularity Cortex. Oh, okay, so this is the hyperdrive, and this is the screams of... what? Fear or pain from traumatizing the... oh, okay, so that's like a deflector shield. That's a shield, that's a shield, of course, that's a shield. Okay. Object of interest... oh, it's another trade vessel. Ooh! I'm gonna give you the money, let's see. I accept the trader's offer, I'm sure I will find these for whatever relics. Twisted Bullvine Horn, what is that? Oh my god, I just paid 850 for this thing? Sure. Okay, let's go actually out a little bit more. 
That's new. That is very new. Anomaly detected. Okay, so that's one of the anomalies. That's actually not the one I met last episode. So let's see what... Rubble of the first spawn. So Gek. Because the Gek are the first spawn, right? Okay, what am I supposed to do here, though? I don't know what to do and I don't want to look it up, okay? Like, if it takes me too long to figure it out, I'll... I'll look it up. But... Otherwise, I want to experience it for myself. So this is not something from the mod, by the way, if uh, anybody's actually wondering. Pretty sure nobody is, but uh, yeah, just pointing it out, just in case. Now, I thought these things would interact with the living ship, but apparently they don't. Can't really scan them or anything. I am... Hmm... Panting sequence unavailable. Like, what am I supposed to do with the rubble? Like, is it just, like, something that's just there that doesn't do anything? I find it really weird. Like, it's like the last one. It didn't really do anything. Okay, that's bad. Hostile scan is not good. Can I, tr like, trade with them or something? Uh, you can... We c I can bargain for one million? I mean, that's cheap, but... I'm not gonna give you my money. I don't care. That's the valuables you found, really. Ah, uh, just the one ship. Okay, that's easy. You wanted three million and you brought only one ship. Are you insane? That's not gonna work out for you. I mean, if I could aim, that, that wouldn't work out for you, but I can't, so... There's that. There's the reason I use the Cyclotron. It fires very fast and it does a lot of damage. So, two hits is enough to kill. Otherwise... Yeah, it takes a while and I'm not good at aiming. Not in this game for some reason. I'm normally not bad, I'm like average, but this is this game just makes it, I don't know, horrible for some reason. Like, what do you want though? Like, large Gex statue, what do you want? It's glowing from... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This part over here. Hmm. Right? Well, there's nothing I can do. There's no... Ah, uh, can I land on it? Landing sequence unavailable. Okay, so I cannot land on it. Can I go up from here? I can, but I, I'm just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit the rock statue. I can't land. I can't hail it. What am I supposed to do with this? Are they just there for decoration? They can't be. Or is it something that's going to be added later? It probably is. It's like the egg. I knew that they were going to add something later. Okay, that's a fake one. Oh, honestly, I, I don't know. Hmm. The first spawn. Oh, well. oh, I think I think that ship was trying to come and hail me. Yeah, that one over there. But yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe it is entirely possible that I first need to complete the Starbirth mission, which I haven't. So these relics are showing up, but I can't do anything with them. So we're gonna. By the way, as soon as you like warp, a little bit. And it's gone. Yeah. This happened before. So, you know what? I'm gonna go a little bit more pulse jump because I might find something. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we find something. Maybe it's good. Did I shoot the statue or did I not shoot the statue? I don't remember. Oh, hopefully I did because I don't remember doing that. Because it is entirely possible that's the way you interact with the statue. With, like with both the weapons. Huh. I did try shooting the previous one I met, though, several times, actually, and it didn't do anything, so maybe that's not the way. What I should do is I could actually I should actually drop out and call my freighter. The reason for that is in case I get ambushed, you know, it, the frigates do come and help. Well, one of the frigates comes and help, which is more than enough. 
And yeah, we're just going towards the emptiness of the void. I could go towards the sun, but it's very bright. I don't want to go there. I'd rather go through, uh, to this uh, towards this blue nebula over there, which we will never reach because it's not even close by. But maybe we'll get uh, an event. And if I don't, I will just go to the Nexus. I'll just wait like uh, 20 seconds-ish. I mean, I know these events are timed, like the freighter uh, fights, so they're not really going to happen like right now. Oh yeah, oh, sorry about that. You should not have seen that. Oh, okay. Alien Melody. Oh, the egg! What? Huh? Was I not supposed to destroy it? Okay, uh, you know what? Forget about the 20 seconds, let's go. I'm just gonna talk about random stuff. I have no topic, honestly, off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, it's something that's not no as related, really, I don't. I did earlier today. I forgot what it was. It was like, this would be an interesting topic to discuss uh, on camera. And I forgot what it was. Yeah. Yeah, really, I did. Like, it was... To, I wouldn't say 12 hours ago, but more like 8. You know, normally when I drive for work, uh, we do have uh, radio. So, you know, I listen to radio. And they have, like, interesting topics. And I was like, hmm... I mean, uh, it's not really the topic that was on radio, but it gave me ideas. Oh, alien melody. Maybe if I scan it. Maybe if I try and pick it up. Nope. Um. I really don't want to destroy it, but what am I supposed to do? Let me go into equilibrium here. Let me see what my egg says. Nothing really. And I'm not getting anything by killing it. What is going on? You know what? I'm giving this another minute. And if I get another one of these eggs and nothing happens. I don't know. Oh, is that an... No, that's not a way to get upgrades. Oh, space signal, okay. Object of interest, that's probably going to be a traitor. Yeah, well, we missed him. Whatever. Had an interesting ship as well. Yeah, we're just flying towards the MTS of space. By the way, we're probably so far away from planets at this point that if I turned uh, the mods off and attempted to go towards the planets, it would take me forever. Uh, because the mods do actually speed up your pulse jumping by a decent amount, which actually makes traveling from planet to planet via pulse jump way better because I really hated the, uh, oh yeah, travel to from like point A to point B for like three minutes of flying and doing nothing and you could get like a random event that it used to be only that you could get attacked. Of course, now you can get other events, which is kind of nice, but it used to be only getting attacked and that was kind of annoying. Insufficient. F oh, okay. I was like, what's going on? So it's 100 gold or 200 silver. I don't really care which one it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It could be 200, 200. It's, it, it's an easy resource to get, and I have it in abundance. Okay. I know the minute's over, but I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds. And I am looking at the timer, but that's fine. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind this going up to 40 or 50 minutes, so long as we actually get to discover something new. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, and it looks like we're not going to get any more melodies. Uh, so, I'm going to give it until 29.30, and we're going to go to the Nexus afterwards. I hope. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, with that hostile scan, that settles it. Not going to give it any more time. Let's go to the Nexus. That's the valuable cargo. That's not even in here, okay? It's not even in here. Oh... I'm not really any wiser, so I, I don't know what happened. We got to a, an egg in space, but nothing. Maybe I need to be in Euclid. 
we are not in Euclid. Okay, so next episode... Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't promise anything because I might do it off camera because it's not really the most uh, entertaining thing to just watch a ship fly and a guy talk for uh, about a game that you probably play. Alright, let's see. So this is a construction research terminal which we have checked out, but this is the one I want to actually check out, the, the Starship one. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, there's nothing new here. Of course there isn't going to be. That's not the way you get upgrades for the ship. And there's like nothing new here as well. Now I did get the relic of the first spawn, which the Gekker the first spawn as far as I recall. So let's see, maybe, maybe, just maybe Paul will actually has something new to say, which I doubt. Uh, no, he has absolutely nothing new to say. Hmm. Okay, well, I suppose I'll be ending things off here uh, for now. My name is Rampa Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.